Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're vlogging again today. As you can probably see, I'm wearing a mask because we are currently in the airport in Ibiza trying to head back to Germany. Great story. So originally we need to fly directly to Frankfurt, but of course they canceled all flights directly to Frankfurt. So we have to first fly to München and then um, after that to Frankfurt. Thankfully, they were able to get us a flight and we don't have to go by train or anything because due to Corona, it's uh, <laughs> much better to try to just get home as fast as possible. Since Spain is now, according to Germany, a high risk country, um, it's mandatory to do a Corona test when you get back. So that's going to be really interesting. And um, we also have to go into quarantine, but self quarantine. So thankfully we can still go home. Uh, yeah, let's see how it's gonna be. I'm gonna take you guys along and see how this whole process is gonna work. Let's go. So we just dropped off our bags. We were checked in directly to, um, all the way through to Frankfurt, which is good with our bags as well and everything. Um, mine was too heavy, but it uh, looks like they didn't really care. And that was all great because I think the limit's 20 and it was 22, but we're all good. Now we are just chilling in the airport until our flight leaves. It's currently 7.30, woke up at five this morning and our flight leaves at 9.20. So we're pretty early, but better to be early and then missing the flight. So we made it through security. Thankfully, it was a lot better than in Frankfurt. It was really fast. There was basically nobody in line and they didn't even really look at any of our stuff. It just went right through, which is really good. On the way here in Frankfurt, they even checked my book to see if it had drugs or something on it, which is hilarious. But no, everything went smoothly and we are now waiting to board the flight. Hey guys, so we just landed in Munich. We just did the uh, Corona test. It was pretty hardcore. <laughs> I almost threw up, but made it through. Um, and crazy because in Frankfurt, apparently there's a crazy line that's like two hours long. Over here, we had to wait five seconds. <laughs> there was nobody in front of us and the airport is completely empty. Now we are trying to figure out how to get to our next flight because I have no idea where to go. Let's see if we can find it. So we finally found our gate, we ate some food, and got myself some M&M's. Now we're going to read and wait the next four hours until it's time to board our flight. So the four hour reading break turned into more of a nap break. Now I'm just walking around. I read two chapters of the book, which is better than nothing. And it looks like, in the time that I was sleeping, it decided to start raining. So it's pretty wet outside now. Pretty big difference from Ibiza, where it was always sunny and 30 degrees. And now I'm just walking around and moving a little before I have to sit in the plane again because I've just been sitting for the last four hours anyways. So 
I'm kind of dying. Yep, but in 40 minutes, we're finally on the last flight to Frankfurt, and then we're gonna get home. Really excited. Since I spent so much time, I thought might as well talk about the trip until now. So the airports have been basically empty. Um, and I mean like really empty. The restaurants were basically all closed as well, which sucks. Like I would say not even half of the restaurants and the stores are open, just like this one right here. Basically everything is taped off and you're not allowed to walk anywhere. It's really weird flying because it just looks like the airport's not even up and running. Crazy. And so with the corona test, um, basically how it worked is we had to, <clears throat> same thing when we were flying to Spain, we had to fill out a form to get a barcode and then um, they would scan the barcode and give us some other paper that we had to bring to the testing station. So we'd give them the code and then they sat you down on a chair and it looked really creepy because it was almost looked almost like an interview. Like there was one chair sitting, uh, yeah, sitting in this one room and it was really brightly lit with lights on you so that I guess they could see, um, see you better do the test. And they just did a swab of like the really far back part of your throat. I almost threw up, so that was great. <laughs> but um, yeah, so they do that. And then <clears throat> the results take, I don't know, at the front they said about 24 hours. And then when we were doing the test, they said it could take up to three days. So we have to basically be in quarantine until we get the results. And if they're negative, then of course we can get out of quarantine and everything's fine. And if the test is positive, then we have to stay for 14 days. And I don't really know what happens after that. So I'm hoping it's negative. <laughs> and yeah, so we did that. Uh, and every five minutes, there's these awesome announcements that you can hear right now. And they're always talking about how you have to keep your mask on, how you need to wash your hands. And oh, and there's of course, basically on every corner, um, hand sanitizer. So that's good too. Please pay attention yep. to the hygiene rules. I think that's it. In addition to um, sanitary facilities, yeah. we provide Trying to stay clean, washing my hands all the time, disinfecting, and trying to not get the virus. Stay safe out there, guys. Now time to go sit back down and keep reading my book. It's really exciting right now. <laughs> and finally, board the plane. We'll see you guys in Frankfurt. Hey guys, so we just got back home. It's 9.15 at night, it took forever, and I have some great news. So we got off the plane, everything was awesome. We're like, okay, we're gonna go get our suitcases now. And my girlfriend gets an email saying, yeah, your suitcase didn't make it onto the plane. So um, yeah, click this link and we'll send it to you at some point. And we're like, okay, awesome. Then we go to the, um, there's like a reception desk kind of for, for lost suitcases and stuff. So we went there and we talked to them and they're like, oh, well in our system, it doesn't look like it's lost. So you should be fine. Just go back to the um, baggage claim area and wait and hopefully your suitcase is gonna come. So we went there, we waited, 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 waited. And there you go. Hers didn't come, mine didn't come. So both of us have no suitcases and I have literally everything in there. Um, since I moved to Germany a year ago, I basically don't, I don't have that many clothes. So I brought almost all of them because we were planning to be there for a whole month. And yeah, toothbrush, contact lenses, everything, everything's in there. So we had to make a claim and now we're waiting to hopefully um, have them find it. And that's, they gave us a link and a code where we can look and see the status, so we're waiting for that. And they said hopefully it's gonna arrive on Monday, but I doubt it. So that's gonna be fun. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll um, comment below if we've got them back or not. If not, I have no idea what's gonna happen, if they're gonna pay us for the 
remaining amount or what, but we'll see. I'm exhausted. We're gonna eat dinner now. And yeah, hopefully I have some good news soon with the test for Corona and with the suitcases now. Yeah, um, ending on a not the best note, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> if you guys liked this vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you wanna see more, turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you guys next week.